Welcome everybody to Waldorf Astoria, what's going to be one of the tallest residential towers in all of South Florida and the tallest residential tower south of New York. A hundred stories tall, over a thousand feet in the air. This is gonna be a really tall building. I guess that's why they call it a super tall building. <laughs> we are here inside the O3 line on the seventh cube, high up in the sky. And this is the model unit at the sales center. And it's going for just over $7.5 million with 2,838 square feet, three bedrooms, plus a den with three and a half baths. We're gonna show you around. This is an actual unit, so you're gonna feel like you're inside a unit at Waldorf Astoria. Coming soon to 2027, we'll tell you the details of the building after we do the tour, so let's, let's get started. So here, we're in the living spaces, right? You walked in through your four-year entry, all right, past there into here, and this is your main space. You notice first thing is the view that you see. Right now, that's not an actual view of the city, believe it or not, that's all digital right there. That's like a massive screen they have. But this is the view you're gonna get. It's southeast views, you're looking at the bay, you have beautiful sunrises every single day that rhymed. I didn't mean it to, but it just so happened to. And then you also get the beautiful city skyline. We're gonna show you the different times of day, what the view looks like, but this is the sunrise view, right? And this is floor to ceiling windows. The actual ceiling height in the units is gonna be taller. This is about nine feet, it's gonna be 10 feet, so you'll feel a little bit higher ceilings in the actual unit, but it's a big open space. You have a massive island over here, book matched countertop. Look at it right here. If it's book matched, it's, in, it's, it's good in my book. <laughs> so, right over here, we have the cooktop, Wolf Induction Cooktop overlooking the view. It's important to cook with a view, of course. And then right over here, you have your sink as well with the stone all along up the walls as well and the LED lighting. The actual kitchen was done uh, by Italcraft, all right, which is very nice, very high end. You notice here, you have your refrigerator, Sub-Zero refrigerator, of course. It's Sub-Zero, if it ain't Sub-Zero, then it's a zero. <laughs> and then down over here, you have your Wolf ovens as well. And then you have, of course, pantry space, a bunch of it. I love the contrasting colors they have. Everything goes together. So you have the countertop, that's really nice. The, the warm color of the cabinetry, and then the flooring throughout is a herringbone wood flooring. The design is beautiful. I love herringbone. That's actually my favorite design of flooring. So again, with the space, kitchen, family room, and dining in one space, it's one big great room looking over that great view. Over here is the balcony, but I'll show you that in a second. Let's first show you the primary suite, uh, and then we'll show you the other bedrooms. So over here, this is your primary suite. This is where you'll spend a third of your life, and a third of your life looking out to that view. It's not too bad, not too bad at all, all right? This is the day view uh, here, so it kind of gives you an idea that you're looking out to the water every single day, and then you'll have your view over there as well, looking out to the bay and city view, right? Now, one thing I want to point out about the bedroom here, Big room, you have your nightstands, you have your bed. More importantly, you have this up top, which is your TV in the ceiling, and then you have it that re retracts out. So the point of that is that they won't, don't want you to put a TV down here and it obscures your view. You wanna have a view, you wanna enjoy that view at all times of the day, and this, you can hide it, put it away, or you can bring it out at night and still enjoy the view. Views, 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 especially when you're so high up in the sky. I mean, this is gonna be where we are. It's gonna be around like 79 floors up. We're high in the sky. All right, primary suite there, or primary bedroom, and then this is the closet. The closets are gonna be fully built out, designed by Boma. Uh, that's, uh, it's very, very nice quality cabinetry, see the LED lighting, storage space hanging there, love the glass here, speakers here as well, so you can sing while you're getting ready for work. And then here you have a little bench to put your shoes on every day. All right, over here, obviously closet leads to your primary bathroom. Here I love how you have the stone all along the walls, double vanity floating. Look at the fixtures, I mean this is beautiful design. Look at this, kind of looks like a crystal. This is so, so nice, the attention to detail and the massive 
mirror as well. Uh, and then over here you have your private toilet room, of course with cabinetry kind of built out as well, built out here for more storage. And then here is your makeup station, another vanity, and more importantly, over here you have your wet room. And your wet room looking out to those bay views, unbelievable. This is very similar to the units we did at Estates at Aquilina. We just did a tour last week. This has a similar wet room with a view. It kind of reminds me of that. You have the massive rain shower here, double uh, shower head there and double handheld. So you can sink to your partner while you're in the shower. Both of you can sink. And, oh yeah, triple, triple right here. Another handheld and of course the tub. And you have the little nook there for your shampoos and whatnot, but I love it. I love the actual, you know, finishes that they chose. And you notice as well, it has that book matching as well. It all goes to the root, you close it and it's the same, which is beautiful. And of course the door to shut it off, but that's the primary bath there. All right, we come out, we're back into the closet. Now we're back into the room. You notice everything, all the build outs, everything is so, so nice. The attention to detail in this, honestly, uh, the finishes in Waldorf Astoria, Astoria, I've seen a lot of developments and the finishes here are unlike uh, any other building, honestly speaking. Now we actually have to go back, sorry to backtrack here, but the balcony, I wanna go out to the balcony. We come out here to the balcony and you have a summer kitchen. So you can grill some burgers on your balcony, 79 plus stories in the sky. That is insane. Imagine that feeling the breeze of the wind, looking out to the view, cooking a burger, honey, come get your burger. Oh my God, that's great. And then here's a little area so you can sit and enjoy the view. And it's kind of funny how they did this because this is the model unit. Uh, and you're in there and you feel the AC and you come out here and it feels like the heat of Miami. So it's, it's crazy how they made it feel so real. Come down over here, we'll keep walking. We're back to the living space, right? And now, like we mentioned, there's three bedrooms with three and a half baths, plus a den. So I'm gonna show you this side of the unit now, all right? We come down over here. Should we show them the view now, or should we show them after? At the end, we'll do it at the end, we'll show you at the end. Over here, all right, this is the foyer. Uh, really, actually, we'll come back more over here. This would be your private foyer entry from the elevator. So this is like the fake elevator here. You come out of your private elevator. This is your little foyer here, put down your keys, and then you walk in and this is your actual unit. And here is the powder bathroom. I love this powder bathroom because, I mean, just look at the stone, look at the sink, the faucet, everything, the attention to detail, the pattern they have of the stone on the wall is, attention to detail. It's, and all the bathrooms kind of have a different feel, which I love. Now you come down over here and we have the other bedrooms, right? So first we mentioned the den. Den is over here, right? a little private area, maybe an intimate area to watch TV with the kids, or just hang out. Maybe you can make it an office. You can get creative with the space. I love this louver that they have here, the louver design to kind of give it a sense of privacy. And then right over here, you have the first of the secondary bedrooms. So this would be bedroom number two. Uh, that we've seen, right? So here you have the twin beds. Look at, look at how it's all built out. I mean, all the colors, the contrast, it's so warm, it's so elegant. And of course, looking out to the water view, all right? And then we come back down this way. You have your closets over here, built out closets as well, by Boma as well. And then here is your bathroom. They have the gray kind of accent here throughout very very nice with the mirror LED lighting and of course your shower with the nook and then we're gonna go out and see the third bedroom this is literally like you could live in this model unit right so down this way you have your laundry room it's a laundry room not a laundry closet a lot of condos have laundry closets but that's a legit laundry room then you come over here and this is the third bedroom it's an ensuite bedroom as well you have your own bathroom. You notice here, it's a different tile, right? Different color. All the bathrooms are different. This one's nice because you have two vanities. It's a double vanity. And then you have the shower over here and the toilet room as well. I really like how you notice the tiling here, the, the, the stonework. You see how it's bigger? They get bigger, bigger, smaller, smaller, smaller as they curve. I really love that. And I love the faucets and the fixtures that they have. It's out of this world. So come back out over here. And this is the bedroom. 
You notice the design on the back with the wood framing, very, very nice. The beautiful bed frame as well. And then here, they did this nice built out to have some more uh, of a closet space there. And here, a little area for you to work or have a little uh, workstation with a view, right? Because of course, this, this side over here is gonna be facing the city, right? And then, did you open that, George? Just so you can get an idea. This is, they did design it beautifully designed. I mean, that walk-in closet is very nice. That's a really nice closet. All right, we come back out over here. We're gonna show you guys the view, what it looks like day, night, show you the difference, All right? So we're walking back down the hallway. Also wanna point out that it is a smart home system. The, the, the condo, it's not dumb by any means, it's smart. <laughs> Come over here. This is obviously not gonna be part of the unit. This is an iPad to show you the screen back there. But you're gonna get this in live form when it's done. Okay, so this is east sunrise right now. We're gonna do nighttime, show you the night. Boom, that's night right there. Look at the city at night, city lights. And then you see the port lit up as well, beautifully lit up. And then you look out north and you're seeing all of the city lights, like all of the little houses and all that lit up. It's just so nice. And then over here, we'll go east day. Boom. Look at that. City. So we saw the sunrise. We saw the nighttime and the daytime within a matter of seconds. Talk about technology. That's crazy. But that's, that's the end of the tour here. That's the end of Waldorf Astoria. Like I mentioned, this is the 03 line. Seventh cube, there are eight cubes in total. Uh, and we'll get into the details of the building here shortly, but that's the end of the property tour. 7.5, just over $7.5 million at the tallest residential tower in South Florida, Waldorf Astoria. Now about Waldorf Astoria, it's a 100 story tall building over a thousand feet high in the air. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's going to be the tallest residential tower south of New York. This building is literally going to reshape the entire Miami skyline as we know it. And we haven't seen anything like this in Miami. It's only going to be one of the few super tall buildings. Now. I wanna show you the design of the building because it's actually very unique. And we're probably showing you some B-roll as well. This is give you, gives you an idea here. It's really unique because it looks like you have cubes and they're all different, right? So what's really neat is that basically each cube is like an individual building because the units are different in each cube. The units have different views in each cube. So it's super, super unique. It's not like in a typical building, like let's say Brickle Flatiron, where you have the O1 line and every unit in that O1 line is the same. It's not like that in this building. Each cube is unique. Now, the cube that we saw, like I mentioned, is cube number seven. So there's eight cubes in total. Five of them are residential. Starting from the top is eight, seven, six, five, four. Those are residential cubes, right? These are the ones you can purchase, like what we're seeing. And then the other ones are the hotel residences. Now, owning here, you're obviously in the middle of downtown. Talking about location, right? Location, downtown Miami, you're right across the street from basically the American Airlines Arena. Bayfront Park is across the street too, right? You also have Brickle, which is just south. And what's nice about downtown is you're in between Brickle, you're in between the Edgewater area, and you're close to Midtown, you're close to the Design District, you have the highway right there, and most importantly, the Miami World Center. That's going to be one of the largest developments in all of Miami anywhere, because you have shopping, dining, everything you want just steps away from here. And by the time this is done in 2027, this area, downtown Miami, is gonna be completely different because of Miami World Center. Now, the building, back to the building, right? The building itself. Obviously, you have the big name brand of Waldorf Astoria, which has so much history behind it. That's a whole separate video, we won't get into that. But you have that luxury brand, right? that caters to this kind of clientele here. And Waldorf Astoria, you have amenities that are unlike any other. You have, obviously, uh, you have a resort style pool with cabanas and a cafe. You have private meeting areas. You have a signature restaurant. You have a kids club. And you also have, of course, for the actual residents, 
like the private residences, you're gonna have a private residential pool, a pool area, and you're also gonna have a private lounge, an owner's lounge, where you could have events, you could just go there to sit, uh, but there's an actual bar there as well, and the view is insane. Here in the sales center, they have a 3D tour, and we did it, and they show you the actual amenities, and it's, it's unlike anything you've ever seen, and you get a full sense of the actual building. But this is a one-of-a-kind building, extremely unique, as we've discussed. There's a lot more to the building as well, but that's things that we can describe to you in detail if you are interested in the project. So if you're interested in the project, shoot me an email, youtube at jonathanvegagroup.com. I'd love to help you with this or any other real estate in Miami, where you go to. That's the end of the tour. Make sure you go like, subscribe, and comment. And this, honestly, it's my favorite development coming to Miami. See you soon. Thanks for watching the tour. Since you're here, you might as well watch some other ones. Why don't you watch this one right here? Or, or maybe this one right here? <laughs> and while you're at it, why don't you just go subscribe as well? And if you're looking to buy a house in South Florida, just shoot me an email too. <laughs> we'll see you in the next tour.